So, going for a ride today. I spent the weekend up in upstate New York, in uh, the western part of New York. We went to uh, visit some colleges. I have a daughter who's heading into college next year. So one of the places that we stopped at was um, Letchworth State Park, which is a beautiful state park in upstate New York. Uh, it's maybe 45 minutes south of Rochester, an hour east of Buffalo, kind of let you know where it is. So they have a, it's, it's considered the Grand Canyon of the East Coast and it's a beautiful park, big waterfalls, and I took a few images. When I got home, I was editing them and the images actually didn't turn out that well. It was the middle of the day, the sun was blaring, it just wasn't a good spot, but I noticed my sensor in my camera was absolutely filthy. A lot of people don't even know how to check their camera to see if their sensor is dirty. So a little later on in the video, I'm going to actually be back at home and I'm going to show you how to quickly do it. All you need is a white wall and your camera. There are some settings that'll actually help you um, see if your sensor is dirty. We all like to shoot, you know, for the most part, um, wide open so you get those blurry backgrounds, but that type of shooting won't let you know if your sensor is dirty. And I wouldn't have known it either, but what I was trying to do is I was trying to soften the waterfall, so I was stopped all the way down to F32 on my 70 to 200 lens with an ND filter on it, a uh, three stop ND filter, which is all I had and I still wasn't able to make it dark enough. So when I took the images, they were overexposed, but because it was at F32, everything was in pinpoint focus and I could see all of the spots all over my sensor. If you have a spot or two on your sensor, you know, it happens and that can definitely be corrected in post-processing. I use the spot removal tool. But when you see what I did, I mean, there's no way. So I'm, out, I'm actually on my way to a local camera shop here um, about maybe 10-15 minutes from my house uh, to have my sensor cleaned. Now you can do it on your own and there are tutorials out there that'll show you how to do it. I'm not comfortable doing it. I really, you know, I'd rather just let them do it. It's not super expensive. I think it's going to be $60 to have it done. It's something I think is worthwhile to do and the last time I had my sensor cleaned was probably maybe two years ago before I went on a cruise. So it's been a while and um, the reason sensors get dirty is because you're out shooting in the elements and if you're that type of photographer like I am where, you know, I have no problem, um, I, like even at the park where I was the other day, you know, the waterfalls are spraying all over the place and I'm changing lenses, you know, things get inside the camera. You know, sometimes it could be a little bit windy and, you know, I'll change a lens here and there on the fly and, you know, you, you can't always have perfect conditions, especially when you're out, you know, shooting in nature. You may get some mist, some wind. Who knows? I mean, you could try to be as careful as you can, but, uh, you know, eventually you're going to need your sensor to be cleaned. So, going to head to the camera shop, you know, we'll see what happens, um, what they say and how long it takes. And uh, then I'm going to go head back to my house and I'm going to show you how to check your camera for, you know, dirt on your sensor. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back home from the camera shop and the tech that looked at my camera opened it up and he was actually able to get a lot of the debris off by just blowing inside it. You have to open up the, you know, flip the mirror up and actually blow on the sensor and a lot of the debris came off. If it was still dirty, um, he would have had to go in there with a sensor cleaning kit and actually clean it out. They didn't charge me for it, so it ended up not costing me anything. But this image here that I took yesterday shows you what happens to your sensor when there's dirt on it. Now, I was lucky that there wasn't, you know, like dirt, like really on the sensor that needed to be scrubbed off. So it, this worked out really well for me. So how do you see if you have this? So what they did there, and you know, I'm going to show you how to do this also, is just take a camera, it could be any camera with the lens on it, okay, and stop down. What does that mean? Go to your lens's smallest aperture. So on, let's say, it might be f22 or f16, or my 70 to 200 goes to f32. And that's what I was shooting on when I took this picture. And that's the reason why it looks so bad, because I was stopped all the way down. I was trying to slow my shutter speed. And um, that's really, you know, why all of the debris really showed up on my sensor. When you're shooting at f2.8, you're not going to see any of that because the backgrounds are blurry and out of focus. But when you have everything super sharp in the background, that's when you're going to see this, and especially in the sky. So it's always going to pop up when you're editing. You'll see it in the sky. You'll see little dots in the sky, and it looks like little, almost like gray dots all over the place. And um, that's what you'll have to remove inside of your editing program.
So whatever lens you have on your camera, take a picture of the sky, just straight up. And if the sky is very blue and you really can't, you know, it doesn't look too bright, raise your exposure compensation or take a picture of a white wall, just something where you have a white surface. Put the lights on in a room and take a picture of a light wall. What you'll see is if there's any spots on your sensor, there's no distractions when you take a picture of the sky that's clear. Now, this is an image I took right after he blew the sensor off. And as you can see, it's completely clean. Okay, so that's what happens going from a dirty sensor to a clean sensor. Now, all I did for that image is I stopped the lens down. This one only went to f16 and um, I raised my exposure compensation to just make the image brighter. Took a picture of the sky and I zoomed in, scanned it. Everything was clean and I was good to go. So that is a quick and easy way for you to check your sensor for debris. And it's one of those things you should do every now and then. You're going to get dirt on your sensor over time. It's just something that happens. You may be able to get away with it like I did, where you just have uh, somebody blow it out for you, or you could even do it yourself. Or you'll have somebody actually clean your sensor, and there's sensor cleaning kits out there. You can learn how to do it yourself. You can bring it to a camera shop. And it's good to use uh, your local camera shop for this kind of stuff. Um, I know we all like to buy everything online, Amazon, but it's great if you have a camera shop in your neighborhood that you can go in and, you know, patronize them and, you know, actually hold the gear and use it and, and you know, test it out and actually talk to somebody who's familiar with it. So, uh, you know, it's really great to use that resource and then, you know, give them their business. It's because uh, they're, you know, usually small mom and pop type shops and, um, you know, it's great to have that resource in your neighborhood. So you want to keep it there. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.